Good morning guys. So yesterday when I was outside um, planting those brassicas, I saw that we had some peppers ready to be harvested. Here comes my dog. You ready to go to bed? So like I was saying, I saw some peppers ready to be harvested. And so grabbed the harvest basket this morning. It's supposed to be raining all day today. The high is only supposed to be about 77. And there has been a break in the rain. So I'm gonna go outside to the garden and pick the peppers because I have some brine from where I did pickled um, peppers and cucumbers left over another dog. <laughs> what happened? You wanna go inside too? Okay, we officially made it to the garden. No more dogs. <laughs> um, but I saw that there were a lot of banana peppers over in this bed. And so I want to get them uh, picked so that I could put them, um, pickle them and put them in the brine. So this bed right here has lots of banana peppers. So I just wanna go ahead and harvest all of these. And while I'm out here, I also will take any of the hot peppers that are on these plants as well. This damage is from leaf miners. So cool how they can just get inside of a leaf and crawl. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any peppers to be harvested in this in-ground bed. This is all the ones that we got from that one bed. I'm going to leave the smaller green ones on here and see if they get bigger. That one has a hole in it. So these are all, I'm guessing, bell peppers. So I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave those. I have no idea what type of pepper these are. I did plant um, not a peños, but I don't know if these are the first peppers that look like this. So I don't know. They don't. I don't think they look like this. This doesn't really look like a jalapeno, but I don't know. Okay, we have some more banana peppers here. I tasted these peppers, I forgot the name. I got them from Baker Creek when they were purple and it tasted really disgusting when someone told me I had to wait till they turned red. So, my first one of these. Here's this plant again. So, it only has one of these on it. So, there's one right there. Huh. Oh, there's more right here. In this log raised bed is all um, supposed to be sweet peppers, but I've harvested some peppers from here. My husband said that they were spicy, so I've definitely got some peppers mixed up. But I do see this red pepper right here. That's oddly shaped, and I just broke off the whole plant. <clears throat> oh, that has a hole. Ooh, bug. So these are shishito peppers in here. This plant produces so many peppers. I'll definitely grow this again. Those two have holes, but I thought I saw another one, yeah, down here. They turn red like this, they're way spicier. My husband had one and he said it was really spicy. I almost missed this one, it was hiding.
These are bell peppers and they're still pretty small so I'm gonna leave them here and let them continue growing. This it's about to walk away and then I was like, let me check one more time. So I'm glad I did. Oh wow, and one right here. So, so far this is how much peppers we've gotten. Way more than I was expecting. I don't think, I'm not going to pickle all of these. And so I probably will just pickle the banana peppers. What I have been doing, spicy peppers. And then I did throw in a few um, non-spicy peppers and a few of cherry tomatoes. I've been dehydrating them and then grinding them into powder. It smells phenomenal. I already have a, I think it's a quart uh, mason jar full of the powder. And so I don't think I'll dehydrate anymore. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll take the rest of these spicy peppers and pickle them if um, there's any more space inside with the banana peppers i'll just throw in the rest of the spicy peppers so i actually wasn't going to get a separate container because i wasn't expecting this much this many sweet peppers um but now i am going to get a different container for the spicy peppers so that i know the difference because some of them look alike i have these right here i would definitely get them confused with some peppers like these um so let me go get a different container So I just finished uh, harvesting the hot peppers and I walked past this plant, this noodle bean plant that I didn't know was here. And the amount of aphids on these noodle beans right now, that one, those two, and those two, is insane. I guess when we removed the bean plants, we left some of these dragon tongue bush bean plants on here because they're producing beans again. There's a bug. This is a nice little harvest from beans I wasn't expecting. I'll leave the larger ones on there, but there's a fair amount of beans here. Oops. All of these beans came from just, it looks like, two bean plants. And I left some on there, and then there's some that are still small, so that's awesome. I'm so happy for this rain because although I watered in the brassica plants I planted yesterday, uh, just having a good rain all day today through last night is just going to be so good for them. I still have the cauliflowers that I need to plant out and that's about it as far as the brassicas. Maybe once I get inside um, and deal with these peppers I will have a chance to come back out and finish planting those cauliflowers. I'm dropping stuff. So right here I have all of the banana peppers. This is the brine that I used. I made um, in a previous video it had cucumbers, onions, and peppers in here, spicy peppers. And I just didn't want to throw away the rest of the brine because it could be reused. So I'm going to slice these up. Let me get a knife. So I'm going to slice these up into rings and the tops or any pieces that are bad. I have a bowl right here on my stove that we put in food scraps for the chickens. Sometimes I bury it and then sometimes I give the food scraps to my worms. So 
So I've tried to chop them in like half inch pieces. Oh, I forgot one right here. And then I'm just gonna add them all into here and see how much we have. Okay, so since I still have some room in here, I think I will, uh, I have some onions that I've been trying to uh, all get processed. So this basket of onions was filled to the top um, and we've been processing them, just chopping them and putting them in Ziploc freezer bags. I think right now I'm up to four Ziploc bags worth of chopped onions. Um, and then I also gave some, this is garlic, I also gave some to Tequisha at our Freedom Song as well i have my container of garlic there but what i think i'm going to do is take some of these onions and put in this as well i have the spicy peppers and the beans just sitting in cold water until i get to them but i am going to take some of these peppers here they're much smaller than the first few rounds i think this is maybe the fourth round of peppers off these plants and they've gotten smaller since uh the beginning but they have nice flavor and i'm going to add them and I'm going to take this bright red. This one was not in the spicy. This was in the not spicy bag, but I like the color. So I'm going to take this one as well for just the color. So I'm just cutting them in thin slices. And then we'll add them to the brine as well. I'm so excited that I grew these onions. So you can... Turn them into rings, which is what I usually do. And then now we have pickled, well, we'll have pickled onions along with our pickled peppers. So let me finish separating these and then we'll add them to the jar. So you definitely do not have to separate these. If I was thinking, I would have added um, some of the, what are these called? Banana peppers, some onions, some of the colorful spicy peppers, and then did like layering but this is fine too i'm just going to squeeze them down in there and if i need to add any more um brine i'll probably just top it off with some more vinegar so i actually think this is perfect amount so i'm not going to add any i mean i guess i could add a splash of vinegar maybe i will but i don't i don't know because those keep floating back to the top maybe i will add a splash but for the most part that was the perfect amount and so we'll sit this in our refrigerator to pickle the longer you let it sit then the more pickly it'll be but even today i could use this if i wanted to we did it guys so we have all of our banana peppers processed. We got some more onions processed, which is nice. And some of the spicy peppers in here. I forgot the name of the spicy peppers, but the tag is outside. So if I remember, I'll put it on the screen. They aren't really um, that spicy when I looked it up and it did say it did good pickled, but yes. So I've been standing here thinking about what I want to do with the rest of these peppers and even the green beans. And so what I decided is I'm going to saute the green beans in ghee with some salt um, and use them for lunch. The same thing with the shishito peppers. I'm going to blister them and make an aioli sauce to dip them in. I had that a few days ago and I ate about a pound of um, shishito peppers. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to make a chicken quesadilla because I have leftover chicken. I have tortillas and I have cheese. So that will be my lunch. But for the rest of the these are all the spicy peppers as well as the rest of the non-spicy peppers i'm going to chop them up and freeze dry them because i also have some celery in the refrigerator that i want to use up so i'm going to dice that put it in the freeze dryer as well as some grapes because uh, my kids like really crunchy grapes i do too and i bought um some grapes like two bags of grapes on my last time i went grocery shopping and a lot of them were soft and so we're just not as hard as we like them and but i do like freeze-dried uh grapes and so i'm hoping that putting them in the freeze dry will save them and we'll still get to eat them so these grapes were already washed and de-stemmed so i'm just going to put them straight onto 
the freeze dryer. With the celery, I'm already cut off the bottom. I'm just going to cut off the top. You can see it's starting to wilt, so this is perfect timing for it. I actually decided with the celery leaves, I'm going to give it to our rabbit. And as you can see, he already started chewing one. I did end up buying this mat so that he can be off of the wire like you guys suggested. So this celery only filled up half of the tray and so I went in the refrigerator. This was a bag we were working on of onions, more chopped onions, and I'm actually just going to freeze dry them since I need, I'm already going to have the freeze dryer running, space, and this will be like a medley, you know, how that you get in the store that has onion, celery, and I think, does it have peppers in it too? Or does it have carrots? for like soups. So I actually changed my mind again. I was going to uh, freeze dry these spicy peppers with the other peppers, but I decided that I'm not going to because my family doesn't really like spicy peppers. So if I put spicy on something, I want it to be intentional. Um, this was the jar of the dehydrated and then I ground it into a powder of the spicy peppers but i also have um some cherry tomatoes in here as well as some non spicy peppers and it tastes really um good um we've already used it on some things so i think i am going to go ahead and dehydrate the rest of these spicy peppers for my last tray i just had an apple that had some bruises and my kids didn't want to eat it as well as some mandarins that they thought were soft so i'm going to use this as my last tray kids are looking through old family albums this was me when I was younger. I have to make sure this is closed. That keeps the pressure inside. And then freeze drying and start. This is a stay fresh freeze dryer right here. And if you are interested or in the market for a freeze dryer, I will have a link in the description down below where you can get $50 off if you use Dom 50. So what I did with the shishito peppers was just cut off the tops and hope pork some holes in it and then put it in the pan with some ghee and then the beans I just cut the tops off and I'm just going to saute that all together in my quesadilla I just added the shredded meat I had that was from a rotisserie chicken and then add the cheese and I'm going to grill that while that is sauteing I am going to make a garlic aioli So I'm going to have mayo, some lemon, Ugh, as soon as I can open this, some garlic in there, some salt, and some pepper. Okay, I did end up adding some mustard in here and some more salt and let's taste it yeah that tastes good I didn't follow a recipe because I made this like I said last week and I knew it was just for garlic aioli it's just garlic mayo lemon salt and pepper and I did add mustard last week as well so I knew I was gonna like the flavor of mustard because I've had mustard garlic aioli before and it was delicious so this is my plate so i have this uh shishito peppers the dragon tongue bush beans that we harvested early with my chicken quesadilla yummy so it's been sitting here a while i'm gonna try a shishito pepper now delicious so I'm going to sit down now and have lunch, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed it, going outside to be able to mm. harvest those peppers and then deal with them right away. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.